Mark Meekin joins us. The police came and arrested him. 28-year-old Marcus Meacham was arrested for hate crime. A man in North Lanarkshire in Scotland has been arrested. A man has been arrested. Scottish police arrested this man. A 28-year-old man from Scotland faced hate crime charges. A man was arrested in Scotland. This YouTuber actually ended up getting arrested. Police came to his house, arrested him. Count Dankula. Count Dankula. Count Dankula on YouTube. He's an online gamer, streamer, YouTuber, and leader of the so-called... Dank Brigade. I wanted to make this to sort of uh, give everyone an update on everything that's happened since the Nazi Pug video. Uh, the only problem is there's a lot of information that I actually can't discuss. I've been forbidden from discussing this information, so I can't talk about the trial, I can't talk about the arrest. The only things about the arrest I can talk about are things that are already publicly known. So, I can discuss everything else, but I'm not allowed to discuss the trial or the arrest. Everybody knows that I got arrested, uh, I got held in prison overnight, and then the next day I was granted something called Procurator Fiscal Liberation, which means that the Procurator Fiscal decided to release me without any bail conditions, so I'm sort of not on bail. Um, I've just not been given any conditions as to my release. I was just released to await my court date uh, while the police can build a case against me um, and that's literally everything I'm allowed to say about the arrest. The public response to the video was actually uh, kind of overwhelmingly positive. Uh, obviously there was a lot of people that didn't find the video funny and I completely understand that. Um, I've met hundreds of people because of the actual video as well and I've only ever come across two people that actually didn't find the video funny. Uh, one was just a random guy who just told me that he didn't find the video funny, which is fair enough. I don't decide what people find funny or don't find funny. The other person <laughs> was actually a neighbour of mine. Me and Sue were uh, going out into the street. We were getting in the car to go to a tattoo appointment and she was, <laughs> she was across the road from us and she started going like this and doing all that to us and I rolled the window down like what, what's wrong and then she started going you're a Nazi bastard, you're a Nazi bastard and everything so we just went oh, okay and then drove away and then we came back like about an hour or two later to one of the fucking dog shit bins from the park flung against my door so I had dog shit in my door, I had dog shit all around the front of my door, my welcome mat was a complete write off. I wasn't that bothered by it, I thought alright I'm going to get some hate. Stuff like this doesn't scare me or anything like that. The only problem is that in the past Sue has actually had to deal with problem neighbours and she was actually quite scared, she got quite frightened by it. So we had to involve the police. The police came uh, the next day, they interviewed us, we told them what happened and then they went over to speak to the woman across the street. Now. As far as uh, coming up and rubbing dog shit on my door and flinging the dog shit bin against my door, nothing happened to her because of that. What actually happened is because she did all this and called me a Nazi bastard, she actually got arrested for hate crime as well. The fact that she did that and called me a Nazi bastard, I didn't care about that. I didn't care that I got called a Nazi bastard. What I was annoyed at is the fact that she covered my front door in fucking dog shit. That's why I was angry. She'd covered my front door in dog shit and terrified my girlfriend. That's why I got the police involved. But the police didn't care about the dog shit. They didn't care about Sue being scared. They honed right in on her calling me a Nazi bastard and charged her with hate crime. I didn't care about the comment that she made. I cared about what she did. Like that was a good welcome mat and we had to throw it in the bin because it was covered in fucking dog shit. Apart from those two incidents, Every single other interaction that I've had with everyone else has been positive. I've had people messaging me going like that, look it was a fucked up joke but we know that it was a joke so you shouldn't have been arrested. I've even had Jewish people messaging me as well saying that look man, like we actually find it quite funny. I've had Jewish people messaging me as well saying that they don't agree with what I did but they say that I shouldn't have been arrested for that. Which is fair enough but then again it wasn't supposed to be seen by everyone either. I didn't expect it to be on the front page of Reddit. Thanks for that, by the way. I'm happy that the vast majority of people have recognised it for the joke that it is. My girlfriend thinks her dog is cute, so I thought it would be funny to turn it into the most horrendous thing that I could think of, which is a Nazi. It was all just a joke to annoy her. It was to annoy her, no one else. 
Uh, that's all it was. It was to piss her off. It wasn't. I wasn't sitting there going like that. I'm going to offend all the Jews. No, it was to annoy her. Yeah. Also, I can't get a fucking job anywhere. <laughs> Honestly, I'm. I'm even getting as far as like doing an interview, and in the interview, they're going, "I know you from somewhere," and I'm just going, "All right, okay, I'll let myself out." My original employers were these guys called NCR. Uh, or world pay or something. I think it's like both companies in the same building. Basically, I was working with them, and because of the whole Nazi pug thing that happened, they just sent me an email while I was in Iceland saying, "Yeah, you're sacked." I messaged them back asking why, and they says that according to my contract, they don't actually legally have to provide me a reason as to why I was sacked. So it was clearly for the video. But then later, I found out that the managers in NCR were going around telling everyone that the reason I was sacked is because I just disappeared and went to Iceland without telling anyone. I just want to point out that that is complete bullshit. In my initial interview, I said I'm going to Iceland because they asked if I had any holidays booked. Then in training, the trainer says, does anybody have any holidays booked? I put my hand up in front of the entire room and announced I'm going to Iceland in April. I then put my request in for these holidays and was then told that these holidays were approved. And then, for weeks in work, I didn't shut the fuck up about Iceland. I kept telling everyone how I was excited to go, oh, oh two weeks, two weeks to Iceland, uh, and all that stuff. But yet, somehow, nobody knew I was going to Iceland. It can only be one of two reasons why they're doing that and saying that they fired me because I went to AWOL and went to Iceland, right? A, it was because of the video, right? Basically, they seen it and shit went, oh shit, we can't have anyone like that working for the company. Get rid of them. And then went around and lied about it to the staff, going, oh no, he was sacked for going AWOL and going to Iceland so that they didn't look like dicks. And the managers recognised that, you know, the staff wouldn't approve of me being fired because of it. Even though the managers were actually seen in the canteen watching the video and pissing themselves laughing. Or it could be B, the management truly didn't know I was away to Iceland. So if a new member of staff tells you in his first interview that he's going to Iceland, he announces in training in front of the entire room when you ask him that he's going to Iceland. He then puts in his holidays for Iceland, which you then approve and tell him your holidays have been approved. And then even when that member of staff doesn't shut up for weeks about going to Iceland, you still don't know that I was in Iceland. If that's the case, then you have no business being a manager. But it was clearly because of the video. They clearly sacked me because of the video, but they just lied about it because they didn't want to look like dickheads to staff. I uh, then actually managed to get a job in a money station in Cold Bridge. It's like this pawn shop type place because I know lots about electronics and stuff. Basically on the first day I got recognised by a few customers and a few members of staff who then told me that the employers actually do Google searches on all new starts. So basically they were going to find out sooner or later and they advised that I just be honest about it and tell them the situation. So, <laughs> so like I fucking idiot. I went up to the manager <laughs> to, to tell them about what had happened, thinking that they would appreciate my honesty and appreciate me coming forward and telling them, ah, the managers don't give a fuck about any of that shit. I was fired on the spot. They did say that they were uh, going to pay me for my one day's work though. Have they paid me? Have they? Fuck. So basically now what I'm doing is I'm on benefits and I'm doing a few hours with my friend's company but it's like less than eight hours a week in the job centre know about it so that's why I can still get benefits but the only problem is that this doesn't make any sense if apparently I've done something wrong then why is the punishment to allow me to not work and still have all my bills paid because that is horrifically fucking unfair to people who actually put in 40, 50, 60 hour weeks to pay their bills that is extremely unfair on them, the fact that I just get to sit on my ass when in the government's eyes I've done something wrong. Apparently if I've done something wrong, my punishment until my trial is to be able to sit around and do nothing while all my bills get paid. That's not fair on everyone else, like I want to work, I'm still trying to get jobs. I've always worked since I was 16, I've always been in a job. I'm still trying my hardest to find a job, I'm sending CVs out here, there and everywhere but most of the time I get as far as the interview and they see who I am and I just pretty much get told to fuck off. I also heard that uh, apparently there was this rumour going around that uh, me and Sue broke up. We never broke up, we didn't even come close to breaking up. The whole point I made the video was to piss her off and uh, it worked because she was fucking furious man.
Like, she was, she was actually so fucking angry. Like, I was actually blown away by it. This is, this is genuinely the angriest that I have ever made her. The entire point I made the video was to piss her off, and uh, mission achieved. <laughs> But no, nah, we never broke up at all, we're still living together. If you watch my stream, you can still see her floating around in the background and shouting at me. In regards to my actual thoughts on racism, I truly don't give a shit what race, religion or whatever you are. None of that crap has any say in how I think about you as a person. Everybody knows that for years I've been speaking against, you know, discrimination or homophobia or anything like that as well. Anybody that is subscribed to the YouTube channel or comes on my Twitch knows that we're just generally quite offensive people. We like offensive comedy, we love people, you know, like Frankie Boyle and Jim Jeffries and people that tell like really, really rude and insane jokes. We enjoy that. It's the fact is, like, even if people make jokes about Scottish people, I find it funny. Copper wire was invented by two Scottish guys fighting over a penny. Also, everybody knows that I don't actually hate Jews. I don't actually think that we should gas the Jews. I don't think we should bring any harm to anyone for any reason. Okay, that's never been the case. I've never ever hated Jews and I never ever will. But I'm just generally offensive. I'll tell offensive jokes, I'll say offensive things, either on my YouTube or on my stream. If that's your kind of thing, then like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff and join in in the fun, but if it's not your kind of thing, then I totally understand if you completely avoid my channel and my stream. I'm totally fine with that. One thing that I will point out though, and I do think this is actually very important, especially given recent events in Dover. Now, I was arrested for making a joke, what was clearly a joke, okay? A joke just to annoy my girlfriend, and I was arrested for it, held in prison, and now I'm facing a hate crime charge. But. If I joined the Scottish Defence League or the English Defence League, it would be totally fine for me to walk through the streets doing this. arrested at all. Apparently that's completely fine. I'm allowed to walk through the streets spewing racial hatred and actually doing Nazi salutes with conviction, actually meaning the words I say and actually wanting to bring harm to other races, creeds and cultures and nothing will happen to me. It's recognised as free speech then when you could possibly be a danger to other people but when it comes to me teaching my dog a trick I'm the one that gets arrested. The people that are actually truly encouraging and promoting racism are the real enemy. They're the ones that should be getting arrested, not the people joking about it. There can be a few outcomes as to what happens. Either the Procurator Fiscal can decide to drop the case, uh, they can decide we don't have enough evidence, no crimes are committed here, blah blah blah, all these other reasons and decide to drop the case. However, because of how big a deal has been made about this, that's not going to happen, so it's most likely going to go to court and in court it could be a case of guilty or not guilty and all it is now is just a case of wait and see 